And they just kind of living life. They just, you know, they kicking it. They going to dinners and stuff. And they just kind of like society people. Lena is like, uh, when we going home? I'm about to have this baby and I'm trying to go back to my daddy house. I don't want to be here. We, we, this is not us. We don't, we don't live in the country. We city folk. At this point, Rhaenyra has had two chaps, okay? And they all look like members of Hanson, okay? They giving the mm bop with the brown hair. Um, the queen want to see you. She want to see me what? She want to see me who? Maybe one of these days your baby's going to look like you. Girl, I, girl, I will. Girl, you. Okay, this my baby water gun. We was having a water gun fight. Hey, girl, how dare you? One of, they, one of these days, you shut up. Now here come this ghoul, Viserys. <laughs> Bless his heart. I you know I ain't trying to be mean. It just he just looked terrible. He looked like a little goblin. Okay, it's Halloween time. Happy Halloween. It's spooky season. Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out this video. It's your girl LB. Welcome to my channel. Watch with me, LB, where I give you fun, fresh, and funny ranch reviews and recaps on my favorite movies and TV shows. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell for the notifications on it. Thing. And make sure you like this video and share it. Now with your grandma, because I'm gonna curse. Season one, episode six, House of the Dragon, the princess and the queen. The episode opens up on a black screen and we hear moaning, right? And so this Game of Thrones and you, it's like a coin toss. Is somebody dying? Is somebody getting the butt? Which one is it? Neither, it's Rhaenyra giving birth. Rhaenyra gives birth to a wonderful little baby and she got the little nurse behind her. And I did clock how the nurse behind her was looking like, Lord. This baby ain't pale enough. This baby got a little a little tan on it. Go back and watch that little scene. It's right, right, right when it first thought the, the little the little midwife was like, kind of thing. I was like, okay, midwife. Rhaenyra is like joyously look loving on her little baby or whatever. And a little milkmaid coming in. She said, Oh, princess, um, congratulations. Um, the queen wanna see you. She wanna see me what? She wanna see me who? I've just passed the whole human from my hoo-ha. I don't, you, she could come over here. That would be the queenly thing to do. But see, Allison is intent on making me not like her. So she wants Rhaenyra to come bring the baby over there so she can see the baby, okay? At this point, Rhaenyra has had two chaps, okay? And they all look like members of Hanson, okay? They're giving the mm bop with the brown hair. They, they supposed to have white hair. They supposed to have gray hair. One of the two, okay? You're not supposed to come with the umbop with the brown hair. All the chaps have brown hair. So the queen is like, bring me the baby. Let me see which baby this fuck. Let me see, let me see the baby. Somebody's wanting to take the baby from Rhaenyra and bring the baby to the queen. Now that I said the cat, I would never, I would never let somebody have my freshly born chap with afterbirth still on it. They had to cut the cord with a string because she still was attached to the baby, getting out the bed to get dressed to go bring the queen her, to see the baby. You know, to see, you know what I'm saying? Rhaenyra said, babe, I would never give her the satisfaction. I'm about to go up there. I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna give her what she asking for, okay? Here come Lenore from the club all drunk. Man, you did it. Congratulations, my girl. I heard it's a boy. All right, that's nice. You know, that ain't his chat. That ain't his children. He know it, Rhaenyra know it, the chaps know it, the birds know it, the everybody know it. I know it, you know it. They seem to be like friendly. They seem to be like partners. He like, well, where you going? And she said, this bitch want to see the baby. Now she got to walk through the castle, which has dysentery all over it, I'm sure, okay? Walk up the whole Lincoln Memorial number of steps, get to the queen's chambers. Blood dripping down, trip, trap, trapping like Hansel and Gretel in the woods, just with blood, you know what I'm saying? Instead of breadcrumbs and stuff. Allison is in the room like, girl, what you doing here? Oh, since you're here, let me see the baby. That girl is making me, she wants me not to like her, girl. I said it last week. Allison is mad because you had to get married as a teenager and you had children early and now because i had you know because i didn't get married early and i'm you know in the, i had fun you know what i'm saying i went through my little whole phase and i did all my little stuff or whatever you jelly don't be jelly sis don't be jelly just mind your business allison with a t Ugh. now <laughs> now here come this ghoul viserys 
say. Viserys is a ghoul and a goblin. Viserys got one arm, four pieces of hair, giblets on his skin, okay? Just, just looking haggard. Here, that boy is talking about, let me hold him. Sir, <laughs> you're not holding my baby. And you got leprosy. You want me to give you my baby? So the baby can just start off like wrong. Huh? So then here go Allison. Congratulations, Sir, Sir Lanor. Maybe one of these days your baby's gonna look like you. Girl, I girl, I will. Girl, you okay, this is my baby water gun. We was having a water gun fight. Hey, girl, how dare you? One of the one of these days, you shut up. So Rhaenyra gets back to her room. She with Hanson, you know, the brown hair. Mm -bop. She, she see her little boys and the little boys and took an egg from the dragon pit and you know, each child get an egg to put in the crib and the whole thing. So um, Harwin Strong, okay, is obviously the kid's daddy and he's in there with, you know, waiting to see his baby. He just had a little baby, okay? You know, he the sheriff now, you know what I'm saying? And you know, they named the baby Joffrey after Lenore's boyfriend that was dead, you know, at their wedding or whatever. So, you know, it's a nice little moment for, you know, a modern family. So we now in the dragon pit with all the kids. It's, you know, Viserys' children and Rhaenyra's children. Viserys' children are Aegon and Aemon. Aegon is the oldest, Aemon is the young one. They got blind hair. Rhaenyra's children, you know, they got brown. The dragon pit master, I made me want some barbecue. The dragon pit master is like teaching them like the Dracar's command and how you got to control your dragon and stuff like that. So we find out that Aemon Targaryen, the king's youngest son, doesn't have a dragon. His egg never hatched. But Rhaenyra's kids, their dragon egg hatched. So they got dragons and stuff. And so they, you know, kind of making fun of the little boy. And you know they got Allison hot, baby. She like, how is the how is the the king's son doesn't have an heir, but these little bastard Hanson children have a, a a dragon. She hot, jealous, jealousy. They Aemon wanders down there into the dragon pit, and he sees this big, huge dragon. Like the dragon blows smoke and fire, and he gets like singed and stuff, and they bring him to his mama. His mama all mad. Allison go over there by that ghoul Viserys, bless his heart. I you know I ain't trying to be mean. That just he just looked terrible. He looked like a little goblin. Okay, it's Halloween time. Happy Halloween. It's spooky season. She go down there by the ghoul and she's like, Your grandsons need to be punished. They out here teasing my baby and they need to be stopped. I don't even know why they got dragons in the first place. <laughs> she mad about it, right? And then Viserys was like, You sure it wasn't Aegon? Because you know Aegon bad as hell. And so she was like, I don't know. You told me not to say nothing about it, so I didn't say nothing about it. But I just can't hold my tongue. Like, I just think that, like, if you had one child, could you was dipping it and doing it outside? All right, I'll let that slide. But you can't be out here having three because then that's, like, not even Targaryen's on the throne. And she, like, calling the legitimacy of the, the, the everything in the question, right? And so Viserys is like, listen, I had told your ass earlier. Don't say nothing about my daughter. Mind your business. And he gave her a kiss. And I just be concerned every time Viserys kisses anybody or holds anybody because man has leprosy. Do they have a cure for it or something? Because I don't know. He just touching stuff and kissing on people. It's like she didn't get no act right from Viserys. So she go to the next best thing, which is Sir Christian Cole. So she's telling Sir Christian Cole, hey, Viserys don't listen. He don't want to see no wrong in his daughter. All he think is she do right. He don't want to see what it is. And Christian Cole was like, yeah, man, she be tripping. She out here, she just throwing her vagina around on people, having babies all willy-nilly. She's a, a word that rhymes with a punt, like in football, but with a C. And he was like, whoa, my bad. I took it too far. We was commiserating, and I took it too far. My fault. Allison looked at him like, uh, excuse me, sir. We're going to do things decent and in order around here. Don't be calling people the word that rhyme with punt now. Allison said something to Sir Christian Cole and it was like a pregnant pause after. And let me know if you picked that, picked it up. So she said, you know, we have to believe that decency and an order is going to just be prevail. And we have to hang on to that. And we got to hang on to each other. Hang on to each other, sis? What you mean? Hmm? What you talking about? She's talking about Allison. So she goes to Aegon's room. This dude here standing in the doorway, I mean, in the window, rubbing one out just above the crowd of the world. Like, I was like, wait, first of all, no. And second of all, why? I don't even know what, what does, what happens to that, uh, 
you know what I'm saying, situation at that high of an altitude? Does it just like dissipate? Does it like change composition? I, you know what I'm saying? But he was standing in the window rubbing one out and I was like, sir, put your booty up. Put like, go up, have a seat. Like go to the bathroom like a normal 12 year old shit. <laughs> So Allison comes in there and she's like, oh man, she ever, she's like, it's like she needs somebody to like get with her. It's like she wants somebody to, yeah, Allison, you right. Like somebody to tell her that she's right. Somebody to affirm what she's saying. So she done went to her husband. She ain't getting nothing there. She went to Christian Cole and she like got a little something. So now she going over there to Aegon. Aegon in the thing rubbing one out and he like, girl, <laughs> I got stuff to do. I don't care about no succession. Hey, so she's fussing at him because he was making fun of his own brother. And she's like, well, listen, at home, you do what you want to do. But outside, you need to, we got to be a united front. And he was like, I didn't even do it, mama. It was um the mother too. And Allison was like, nah, quit lying in my face. Telling him about how Rhaenyra is going to be on the throne and that her son is going to be the heir and that he could die because she's going to want to cut off you know, any challenge to her succession. And I, you know, at first I was like, yeah, that's kind of true. But then on second thought, I kept thinking, why does she think that Rhaenyra would kill them children to make sure her seat is safe, like insecure and stuff? What other than her daddy telling her that makes her think that that would actually be the case? But Aegon is like, okay, I won't be the king. Okay, all right, like I don't care. And she like goes ham on this little boy. She's like, you gotta be the one. You gotta be the heir. Yeah. Like she like grabbed his face and she was like going in on this little boy. And he was like, Mm, way to kill the vibe, mom. So we get a really cool scene with Damon and Lena Targaryen. And they have been doing anything. They have two girls and um, we catch them riding dragons, like having a, or like a race. Lena's dragon is big as fuck. That dragon was huge compared to Bloodworm, which is uh, Damon's dragon. Lena like does a Dracarys in the air and makes Damon fly through it. And he's not burned at all because he's a Targaryen. So it was cool. You could kind of see that they have like a bond and share a love of dragon riding. And they're at dinner and we see Lena is actually pregnant riding that big ass dragon. So we get a great scene with Damon and Lena. They're at dinner and they just been kind of living high on the hog. They reminded me of Wallace Sim Simpson and, and the, the one that abdicated the throne. I don't remember what his name was. Edward George, one of them ones. And they just kind of living life. They just, you know, they kicking it. They going to dinners and stuff and they just kind of like society people. Lena is like, uh, when we going home? I'm about to have this baby and I'm trying to go back to my daddy's house. I don't want to be here. We, we, this is not us. We don't, we don't live in the country. We city folk. And Damon is like, we straight here. We don't have to get involved with no shenanigans. And it's not bad here. Like there was a part in their conversation where she was telling him what she wanted and how she felt. And he said his piece and she was just standing there. And he looked at her like, eh? And I was like, Boy, who you dismissing like that? Don't dismiss her. You see her? Don't dismiss her. <laughs> so now we back over there with, with all the drama at the at the castle. And so Christian Cole is teaching all the boys, Rhaenyra's and Allison, sword fighting. And Harwin Strong is out there with his chaps. You know, so Christian Cole is going hard on Rhaenyra's kids because he's mad, you know, that they're not his. So he is not being fair with the way that he's teaching them. So he has the youngest of Rhaenyra's kids to battle the oldest of Allison's children. Very different in size and ability. And he's basically beating the little boy up. And so Harwin Strong kind of steps in. And Christian Cole is like, oh man, dang, it's this great how you, you know, so hands on with these kids. It's almost like they're your sons. Harwin Strong says, uh, Okay, and he, and he beats Sir Christian Cole up. You know, he's not supposed to do that, right? And so he gets fired. He gets fired from his job. He has to leave the castle, which is basically what Sir Christian Cole wanted, right? For him to be away from his children and to punish Rhaenyra. He got to go way to Harrenhal. It was like a setup. And, you know, the only reason that Christian Cole is still kicking around today is because Allison said, well, you can come over here and sit by me. Because you remember he killed Joffrey, Lainor's boyfriend at the wedding. 
So remember that old uh, passage where that secret passage Damon had showed Rhaenyra when she was a little girl? She took that same passage where to go see her new little Bunopolis, okay? But when she got over there to see Harlem Strong, he was in there arguing with his daddy. And his daddy was like, listen, boy, you tripping. You out here shooting. I'm shooting. <laughs> this little thing got me gassed up. You out here fighting with a knight. You can't do that. People already talking about you. They gonna talk about me. If for whatever reason it's found out that you got three little chaps running around here with the princess that's married, you gonna die. I'm gonna die. Them chaps gonna die. We're never gonna die. We all gonna be dead. You need to keep it tight. Keep it locked up. She goes back to her room. She got mastitis, okay? She got a clog, uh, milk duck in her boob. And so the lady put a little thing on it because, you know, that's all they got to do, child. They ain't got no medicine. And here come uh, Lenor drunk with his new boyfriend. And Lenor is like, listen, it's getting, it's going down in the stepstones again, baby. I'm about to go back down there, all right? So I can go ahead and, and be the night that I'm meant to be. I'm out here in these streets, okay? I'm about to, okay, with my dragon. And she's like, nah, you not gonna, no. We gotta stay here because, you know, we got stuff we gotta do here. We married, you forgot? Like you, I said you could go out here and do your thing. I ain't tripping, but you're not gonna leave me out here in the lurch with these little chaps when it's getting hot out here so you can go play down there in the step zones and be a knight and stuff. No. And so he's like, listen, stands to reason, we should get the hell out of here. You should come down there with me. And Rhaenyra doesn't want to leave. They're over there at the small council meeting and they're doing a small council meeting stuff. And then Rhaenyra says, hey, I got a little something I want to see. Rhaenyra says, you know what, Allison girl? You ain't shit and I know it. So, you know, you ain't never gonna stop being shit. So let's just do this. Let's just call a truce, all right? I suggest that my son marries your daughter, all right? And then that way, when I ascend the throne, my heir is going to be married to your heir. And then that way, it's like a little what and what kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? It's still going to be mine, but you can get up there too because you ain't got no other way to get there. Also, I'm going to give your little dragonless son an egg since he ain't got no egg. So when my dragon have another little thing of eggs, I'm gonna give your son an egg, I'm gonna give your child a wife and a little pad to the throne. I think that's gonna be all right. Allison said, well, yeah, I'm gonna think about it. Aggravating, bro, why she got to be like that? And then she gonna tell Viserys, yeah, she feel, she, uh, she getting scared now, cause she know that the time is up on the... That girl aggravating y'all, I'm telling you. Hand of the King, you know, Harwin Strong's daddy and Clubfoot daddy goes to resign his post, right? He said, listen, I can't do it no more. All right, my son out here tripping. He done brought shame to my whole house. I got to quit my job. I appreciate you for the opportunity. And Vissara said, no, I'm not gonna accept your resignation. And the, the man said, well, listen, it's some stuff going on in my house that's bringing me shame. I'm just shame about it. And I just really don't know you know, what to do. And, and Viserys was like, well, what's going on? And Allison was in there and like, yeah, hey, tell me what's going on. Cause she want him to say, my son been out here clapping your daughter's cheeks and got three children by her. He said, well, listen, if you're not gonna tell me what it is, I'm not gonna accept your resignation. So uh, Laura Strong said, okay, well, all right, cool then, that's fine. But if you would, I'm gonna just take a couple days off of work. I got to go drop his ass off over there at Hammer Hall so he can go be the, the, the Lord of Hammer Hall and, you know, do his thing since he got fired, you know, from the police. And so Viserys said, all right, go ahead, drop your son off. I'll see you back here in a couple of days. Allison then double back and go have dinner with Clubfoot. And Larry Strong with his old messy self. Ooh. <laughs> messy. Ugh. So, and it's like a, like a ugly messy. Not even like a, ooh, for real? Kind of like a, ugh, kind of, you know what I mean? I heard my daddy was in that meeting with y'all today. What was going on? I used to be the one to give you the tea. And now, you know, you giving me the tea. What happened in there, Allison? And so Allison tell him what happened and got a little idea popping right here. Just a little ping, like a little light bulb. He said, oh, I could do something with that. All right. So he go downstairs in the jail and collect him a whole bunch of little prisoners and stuff and give them and send them on a little mission. Okay. Why he done sent a whole group of prisoners to Hammer Hall to burn his daddy and brother alive in the house, dead on arrival, to make himself, to put himself in a better position. Because if there is no Lord of Heron Hall, his brother, and there is no Hand of the King, his daddy, he go ahead and rise up because that makes him Lord of Heron Hall. And he has a place to get a seat at the council because he know his girl Allison with her old messy self is going to make sure he got a little spot. 
How you kill your whole family for a job? How you off your whole bloodline so you can get a job? Oh my God, y'all, this part was so sad. So, Lena Valerian slash Targaryen, dash Targaryen. So, what is it? Lena Valerian Targaryen? That's a mouthful, child. Is in labor. And you got to get on all fours and squat down and people be touching on you and pulling on you and stuff. Not unlike what happens in 2022. Giving birth and it ain't working well, okay? And the, the, the OBGYN come over to Damon is like, listen, um, I don't know what to do. The baby not coming out and the baby all twisted up in there and I can't get the baby out. I could probably go ahead and do a C-section, but the wife, your wife gonna die and the baby might not make it. Exactly what happened to Viserys and his wife all that long time ago. Cause see, karma's gonna come back and get you. Cause Lena heard that. Lena said, baby, not me. <laughs> You're not taking me out, okay? Lena gets up from her birthing bed drags herself over to where her dragon is and tells the dragon to Dracarys her, to burn her alive. And she goes up to the dragon. She's like, Dracarys. And the dragon was like, I don't see no goats though. Like, who you want me to Dracarys? Like the dragon was looking confused. And she was like, Dracarys. I said, Dracarys. And the, and the dragon was like, Girl, I will. Just tell me where to, where to aim. Like, I don't know where to go. And the dragon was trying to process what the lady was telling him to do. And he was like, girl, you want me to Dracar as you? And it took him a little minute, Jay, but he did what she asked him to do. And she Dracar as her own self. Y'all, she Dracar as her own self and the baby. She said, baby, not me. I'm about to go out like an OG, triple OG, dragon rider OG. I'm not about to get out and bleed not all on no bed. I'm taking me and the little baby. We about to get on up out of here to the great dragon in the sky. And, and Damon saw it too. Damon saw his wife cooking over there like a marshmallow at a campfire. It was very tragic. But see, I think that old tame Damon that we had saw, reading books and drinking wine and taking leisurely gazes at the night sky and all that jazz on the... Nah, baby, we about, to, we about to get the dragon we know and love. Unleash the dragon like Cisco Damon. I'm here for it. Rhaenyra goes up to, to Lena and she's like, you know what, man? They out here tripping. They played me, bro. I offered them this thing. They laughing in my face. They talking about me in the streets of the castle. We, gonna, we about to go to Driftmark. I mean, we about to go to Dragonstone. So she gathers up her children and her little husband and her husband's boyfriend. <laughs> and they go to Dragonstone. Clubfoot goes back to Allison and says, Hey, Allison, remember that other day we was talking about how you wish your daddy was here and how, you know, everything is going awry and, you know, I wish I had somebody who would just be on my side and blah, blah, blah. I said, listen, I took care of that for you. I killed my dad and my brother. They did. You go ahead and tell your dad to come on back so he could be the hand of the king. And then when I'm ready for a reward, you're going to reward me, okay? Is that cool with you, your majesty? And she, Allison was like, oh, my God, I didn't want you to do that. Oh, my God, I didn't know. I didn't want that. I, I, I. She ain't mad about it, though, huh? Because she knows she's going to get her daddy. She assembling her squadron still. And it looked like Rhaenyra, she ain't doing too good. Allison is up by like 100, uh, 100 points, okay? All Rhaenyra got is some three chaps that don't look like her, be, uh, her husband. And uh, and her husband boyfriend at a drafty castle. Um, I'm really... this, And that's where the, the episode ends. But I'm really surprised Viserys is still alive, y'all. This is episode six we on. Is this dude going to make it through the end of the season? Comment down below and let me know what you thought of this episode. I thought this episode was great. And I'm, I'm, listen, I don't even know. I didn't even see the trailer for episode seven, but I know it's about to be piping hot, okay? This was a real good one. This is a lot. We needed this episode to get us through, right? Because the last episode almost took us out, okay? This episode, they took us down a little bit, but a lot of important stuff happened in this one. And they had another rat in this episode too. So I did see somebody say that somebody's a warg like somebody's a you know like you know, remember how brand could be in the crow when he could go and be wherever the crow was he could see what was going on and that's why the rat was there so now i'm trying to think about who would want to who was not present in all of these places that wanted to be in all these places comment down below and let me know if you know what the rat hidden for okay i'm gonna talk to y'all later thank you so much don't forget to like and subscribe i'll talk to you later bye